Lesson 2. Placing and Wiring Parts If not already opened, launch Pairs Designer and go to File, Open Project. Navigate to C, Pairs Professional Quick Start, Lesson 2, Placing and Wiring Parts. Select the file named ledflasher.prj and click Open. This project is pre-populated with an incomplete schematic page, which you will complete as part of the lesson. Within the Navigator panel, double-click the design sheet to view its content. In the Search Panel search box, type NE555 and press Enter to see the NE555DR component. You may need to click once on the search result to see the part's symbol and footprint. Drag and drop the NE555 part from the search area onto the design sheet. Try to position your symbols as shown to facilitate the wiring process. From the My Parts panel, scroll to locate the special component named source underscore vcc dot one. Drag and drop two instances of source vcc dot one onto the design sheet. Let's wire the rest of your schematic. Draw a selection box around the two VCC components, then drag the selection until they touch pins 4 and 8 of the N555 component. Release your mouse once you see the purple asterisk. Click the selection again, then drag it away from pins 4 and 8 of the NE555 component. Click the net icon on the top toolbar area, or press lowercase n to activate the wiring tool. After your mouse cursor turns into a crosshair, left click and hold on pin 6 of the NE555 symbol. Then move your mouse cursor two grid steps to the left and press the spacebar. While still holding down the left mouse button, move your mouse cursor down four grid spaces and press the spacebar again. Finally, move your mouse cursor onto the bottom pin of R8 and release your left mouse button. It's good practice to check for mistakes during your design process. Go to Tools, Verify. In the Verify window, click OK. The DRC panel will appear, displaying a list of potential electrical issues. Click on the last error message in the DRC panel to see the unconnected pin in your schematic workspace. Fix these errors by wiring the rest of your design. After wiring all components, run another check by going to Tools, Verify, and this time click OK. Notice the errors are gone, then right click on the DRC panel and click Close. Adding names to nets in your design will allow you to easily identify those nets down the line. Right click the wire connecting pin 3 of the NE555 and pin 11 of the op amp, then click Properties. Within the Properties panel, change the value of name to CLK underscore out and press Enter. Notice that there is now a label on this wire. Using this method allows you to easily name connections in your design. Click any empty space in your schematic workspace to clear all filters. Using the Constraint Manager, you can predefine design rules that will get forward annotated to the PCB layout workspace. Click Tools, Constraint Manager, and within the Constraint Manager's Navigator panel, select Net Classes, PWR, Expand Master, then PWR, and set the trace width expansion values to 20. Check the box to not show warning again in the same session, then click OK. Close the Constraint Manager window, right-click and close the Output panel, then go to File, Close Project. 